Dude, this thing is fucking my day up. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Clover. We had just uh, a little bit of a, a break in betwixt episodes doing a spicy noodle challenge, but now I am back, ready to continue. Gremlin looks like she needs some leveling up, and uh, we might just be able to do it on this route. Who knows what we might find? We'll find a trainer, that's for sure. You never beat me, I have an A in memeology. You know, there's fucking people that actually go to college to become like professors in memeology. Colleges will just take your money. <laughs> they don't actually care about giving you an education, they're just like, oh, you wanna pay me? Sure. I'll teach you some bullshit, whatever. Ooh, the Mayma uses a fake out right out the box, which uh, is a good move because it actually flinches me this time around. Assist, however, not such a great move. I'm gonna pray for uh, a little bit of poison as I shoot some smog in this thing's face. Breathe the smog. It doesn't work at all. That's fine. How about acid? Do you like acid? Do you like acid? I think he does. It's not really uh, doing too much damage. We're gonna have to whittle this thing down. The Pokemon in this game are just so uh, buff. We're at level 17 Pokemon already and then if you go in the wild grass and look for Pokemon, it's like level fucking five or six, which makes power leveling extremely hard. I will probably have to stop and do that between uh, some of these upcoming episodes, or maybe not, just because uh, it's not a Nuzlocke, so why, why am I going to fall into that trap? You know what I mean? I tend to do it uh, no matter what, just because I don't like to see my pokes die, but um, yeah, I'll just recover them. That's fine. Oh, okay, I also have an F in Battle Theory. I have an F in Life, but an A in Memeology. Good for you. Good for you. Fantastic work. Is this uh, a magic rock? Oh my god. There is a great ball under this rock. Wonderful, I should inspect more rocks. I just uh, had to have a look at it because it was sitting out there in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what this black belt might have, but I guess my poison Pokemon will work against him. Hey brah, what up? Hey kid, check out my Pokemon's gains. Whoa, sick gains, brah. You lift? You, you been skipping leg day? Is that what that is? No, he hasn't been skipping leg day. Look at that shit. He's got superhuman calves. He's got an Armando out. My Gremlin should do just fine against it unless it starts using that focus energy arm thrust bullshit that uh, doomed me a few episodes back. Not necessarily doomed me, but uh... You know, he, he, he could be a dangerous boy. I should have caught one of these things when we were in Mount Moot, but I was just so eager to get out. Nico's been uh, hassling me about it on our Soul Silver Pokemon stream. So, uh, yeah, now that we're out of Mount Moot, we gotta keep pushing forward. We gotta make some shit happen. We gotta beat feet, bruh. Gremlin level 15, that rhymes. <laughs> and uh, he's got that wet guard Pokemon. You want a wall of wet god? In Skywim? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna change. I'll go ahead and stay in here. Hopefully it doesn't have any ground attacks. It's gonna hit me with them fury swipes. Dude, that is furious. Look at that shit. It's gonna knock my gremlin out. Damn, dude! How, how the fuck did that happen? That thing's got an attack stat. Attack stat up the ace. So, um, I guess I'll send out Kim. That's the next level 15 poke that I have. And uh, hopefully it's gonna go okay. Can we sing this thing to sleep? Horn attack, look out. At least the sing hit. So there we go. Jigglypuff. No wait, it's Little Kim. What's a Little Kim song? Shit. I'm spacing, I don't know. <laughs> All I can think of is Freak Elite. But that's uh, from Petey Pablo, many, many years ago. Anybody remember that? Should I try out Fury Cutter? My brain is going in so many directions at one time. I'm just really excited to be back with the Pokemon Clovers. So uh, here we go, the knockoff. That's that's so hurdy. This is one powerful poke. I could KO him with the next Fury Cutter, but I'm not going to live through his attack, so... Uh-oh. I can't switch out because of Arena Trap. Good thing this is not a Nuzlocke. I guess uh, you're going down. I'm sorry, Kim. Oh, the Wet God uses Sand Attack. So uh, I am going to KO him with Fury Cutter. Thank God. That was getting dangerous. We should be about due for a rival battle too. Right? Maybe? 
Is that correct? I don't know. Many people mistake Armada for a penis. <laughs> yes, yes, I could see why. Quite indeed. Uh, I'm gonna put Kim in the front, even though she's low level, or low health. But hopefully I can get her a level or something like that. Hey bruh. Lots of trainers on this route. Holy god. Holy shit, I'd own every bird if I could. Why? They're loud. Birds are loud and they just shit everywhere. They're not even that fun. You know, everybody wants a bird because JonTron has one? That, that ain't that ain't a good reason to get a bird, bro. I can tell you right now. He's got a Kenjin, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch in Decker. One to save Ken and two or Kim, not Ken. Jesus, my brain. I can't. But to KO this thing was a, with a rock throw, is what I wanted to say. He's not gonna be able to do shit against Decker. He's got the biggest deck in the land! Uh, he's stacking lethal in his deck, son! Magic the Gathering reference! Or Hearthstone, or uh, Elder Scrolls Legends, whatever you play. I play Elder Scrolls Legends! <laughs> I love Clover. Oh, you think I mean this ROM hack? No, my Kenshin's name is Clover. They should show the nicknames of Pokemans. I think that would be quite nice. Here's another berry tree with a chopple berry. I'm not quite sure what a chopple berry does. Maybe a karate chop attacks. Reduce the effectiveness of fighting type attacks. Or, or something like that. This this place looks really different. I was expecting like a cerulean city, but this is uh this is not that. <laughs> Do you even lift? No? You should take this then. TM8, is it bulk up? Yeah, bulk up makes your Pokemon ripped, raises attack and defense, talk shit, get fit, get hit, bro. Why don't you cross the border before you talk all that shit? Come to my side of town, see what it is. You're making a Focha and Pokedex? What's the point nowadays? Can't you just go on Cerebi or something? Uh, I use Bulbapedia, thank you. <laughs> ah, internet references. Baitmaster are tricky creatures. One time, researchers thought they had discovered a new Pokemon, but it turned out to just be a bait master. Oh, he's the master of bait. Great bait, bait. Wee <laughs> And that is some weird, uh, sounds that she's making. She's possessed. Let's just see what's on TV. Now this is the story all about... <laughs> oh god. This is the story all about how... And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. Sit right there. I might as well kick it. Well, I tell you how I became the prince of a town called Fortune. Fortune. By becoming a trip fag. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so I'm gonna heal up some of my Pokemans. They feeling a little weak after that long trip through Mount Moot. I probably should uh, grab some healing items as well if I can find the fucking Pokemart. This place is just sitting on a dock in the middle of nowhere. I love the shape of the city. It's simply aesthetic. It has a nice aesthetic? Can it something be simply aesthetic? I thought aesthetic was like an adjective. Never mind. Have you heard about Nomel? No, not the berry, although it is believed that the Nomel berry was named after him. Who? What? I've never heard of him, I guess. I'm out of the loop. If you're referencing something, I'm not sure what you're referencing. Hey, kid. Hey, guy standing on the dock. You want to get yourself and your Pokemon ripped? Here, have this special brace from Condensed Way. It doubles the mass gains. Macho brace. Cool. EV training. Without bench pressing is not training. No pain, no gain. Never do leg day. Did you say never do leg day? Dude, blasphemous. Blasphemous, dude. Hey, what up, Dow? Welcome to Big Bill... Big Bill Hells. <laughs> Home of the meanest sons of bitches in Fulchin. Hello there, dumb enough to buy a used bike, I see. <laughs> well, if you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill's, you can kiss my ass. That is, unless you could win at Challenge Pissing. Dude, check out my e -peen. It's the biggest, dude. I could piss, like, way better than anybody else. You wanna have a pissing contest right now? How does it work? If you can piss six feet into the air straight up and not get wet, you get the bike for free. When you're ready, go stand over there by my employee on the raised tile. Uh, okay, I'll try it. I tried to win a challenge pissing, but I only made it to three feet. Maybe if I stuffed a Pokemon with a water type move down my pants. <laughs> Step onto the race tile when ready. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, on your marks, get set, piss! Go, go, go! Am I doing it? 
Oh my god. Nice try, asshole. Now get out of here with your weak pissing ability. Wow. This is this is quite a town, isn't it? Quite a place I've discovered. Akibit City is special in that it's entirely entirely built on top of piers. Why? Because it's cool, dummy. It's really not though. <laughs> What's the gym? Tumblerita? Oh god, the warrior of social justice. Oh my. Should I check the gym? I don't wanna yet. I bet it's a water gym. Because she's Tumblerita, so she's crying all the time. Don't you see? What's this berry? Pasho berry. Weakens, uh... Grass type attacks, maybe? I don't know. Hey bro, can't you see I'm busy training? I would tell you to join us, but you're just a kid. That looks like a kid over there. Yo, man. Clearly you don't know the rules around here. I'm gonna have to drag you out of here. Oh, uh, okay. Why are you doing this? Please, don't touch me. This is assault. <laughs> Where are we going? Why? Wow, he's taking me really, really far away. There, now stop trying to get out of this city. Because you're staying in it. I don't wanna. I gotta go beat up Tumblerita. It's the only way to escape. Hey there, little girl. What kind of weirdo owns a house in the middle of the water? Everyone in this city, apparently. Hey, bruh. Clover that reject the leaf stone for a long time will grow up to have sick gains. Clove war. I haven't seen one, I don't think. Who's, who's in this house? I just have to not talk to that guy who wants to fucking touch me everywhere. I'm the move relearner. If you want your Pokemon to remember any moves they forgot, I'm your guy. Come back with one big mushroom or two tiny mushrooms, and I'll perform my magic. Ooh! Gotta keep an eye out for some mushrooms. Mushroom, mushroom! We could cut this tree down, except we can't yet. Oh, here's the Pokemart. Right across from the bike shop where I pissed all over myself. Wonderful. May I help you? I sure hope so. How many Pokeballs do we need? We have nine. I don't really need that many, I guess. I'll just bring it up to a nice, uh, even 15. How's that? Need some super potions, that's for surezies. Oh, they're so expensive. Shouldn't spend all that money on Pokebales. That's alright. I'll live. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, fuck yourself. Fuck yourself, bro. That's all, that's all I can really suggest. So what's up to the north? Nugget Bridge? All the cool kids use set battle style. L equals A, fast tech speed and battle animations off as their option setting. I mean, set battle is pretty cool. You want to be cool, right? I mean, should I be should I be changing that? I'm going to be influenced by this this sign. Uh, battle style set. Yeah. It's not a Nuzlocke, so we should be fine. <laughs> it's just not going to tell me what the next Pokémon is. Not that it even does any fucking good, because I don't know hardly what any of these Pokémon are, or what their types are, or anything really about this game but that's what makes it magical so let's put pecker in the front we'll go do some nug nugget bridge challenge a nice man offered us money for standing here and battling everybody well that was nice of him kids got a job already how old are you bug catcher clark that's kind of an old man name though clark drapiller Ooh, that's pretty cool looking i'm gonna go ahead and peck that i'm gonna go ahead and peck that right now Super effective, super effective. But it's hitting me way harder than I'm hitting it because uh, we're kind of under leveled. Which is unfortunate! Oh, takedown. Look out! Oh, it hurts! Oh god. Am I faster than this thing? I don't think I'm faster than this thing. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I go into Decker. Why are the rock types always so good in the early game? I just end up over leveling them to, to no end. I'm not taking any risks. I'll go ahead and horn attack. Ba boom! Get that in your face. Oh, and he lived. This thing's pretty fucking strong, isn't it? Where'd you get this thing? Can I have one? Oh my god. I should be doing wonder trading. Somebody told me in a comment that I should be wonder trading some Pokemon, so I gotta catch trash. <laughs> catch a bunch of trash, do some wonder trading. Oh, here comes my buddy Kekroach. And uh, he's gonna eat a... Uh, a rock throw to the base. I don't know if he's gonna die because he defense girl. No, look at how defensive he is. That motherfucker, dude. He's so good. 
I kind of want to bring um, Pecker back in here just to soak up some of the XP, but eh, I guess it's whatever. We're going to be just fine. Everything's going to go great. Oh, and now he's using Endure. Well, it can only save you for one turn, friend. Kekroach endured the hit. I hope he's not going to flail or, uh, what's that fighting type attack? Reversal? I think that's what it is. That bug bite, super fucking hurty. But luckily we're able to knock that dude out. Wow, Bugcatcher Clark, you got some cool bugs. Cool! It is cool. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. That was super. It was pretty super, wasn't it? My Pokemon are hurting. I'm gonna push on. Oh, this is a short-ass bridge. If you beat the next three trainers, you'll get a special reward. Pat on the head, handshake, slap on the ass, something like that. Youngster Kent has a Ribazac. Ooh. Water and electric, maybe? Probably? Something like that? Not something that I want Pecker in here for. So let's go into Douglas. He's my boy. He's my little guy. If he gets over-leveled above everybody else, I uh, won't feel that bad about it. I'll say yes, that's what you deserve. You're the one. Douglas, haha, can't be thunderwaved. He's that awesome. Can't thunderwave a plant, bro. I'm already slow, dude. Eat some bullet seed. Bullet seeds in your face! Yeah, he's definitely, uh, at least electric. I don't know about the water typing. That's the reason that I was scared to bring in Decker because uh, I don't want him to get water gunned in the face. And he's already pretty low on health, honestly. I'd like to do this whole bridge without going back to the center and healing, but uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen necessarily. Oh, that thing has some Orin Berry. And there's Lick, ghost type move. Oh, he paralyzed me. Couldn't get me paralyzed with the fucking Thunder Wave, but he got me paralyzed with Lick. That ain't good. Because that frog, you know, he got a long tongue, something like that, wrap you up. Doesn't matter though. Still get velocity to bullet seat you in the face. I'm far enough back away from your mouth. Pecker level to 15, which is nice. Douglas, a little bit of XP for you too. No, Ribazap! Oh, uh, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, and Pecker's evolving! Dude, fuck yeah. I forgot evolution was a thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's still uh, pretty early in the game. Most of my Pokémon should be evolving at some point. Wonderfully done! Look at it! What the fuck is it? It's a chicken leg with french fry wings! <laughs> it's a free... Fr fry den? Fry... Free a den? Pecker's trying to learn sweet scent. Oh, your scent is sweet. Delicious french fries? Mmm. But I don't want to forget any of this stuff. Stop learning sweet scent? Yeah, sorry. You're gonna be stinky. You're gonna be stinky for a little while. Dang, let's let's check out them stats. Them new stats, bro. Not not really anything uh, different, except rough skin. I like shed skin more than rough skin, because you could get rid of status, but okay, whatever. It be what it be. Good old useless bridge. No, seriously, that's what it's called. <laughs> Some higher up in fortune really wa wasted a bridge. Even though we didn't need one. Oh, wanted a bridge. So they wasted a bridge. So they slapped one right here. Isn't that wonderful? Now everybody can use it, kind of. I mean, not use it. Meow! Notices your balls. What's this? Are you, are you looking at my Pokeball? Is that Pokeball in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Furry mittens. Oh, lord. What you got? Camera cold. Hmm... What could it be? If it's an ice type, Pecker's gonna get screwed, so let me pull him out of there. Douglas is not a good choice. We'll go into Keck. I miss Keck. <laughs> Everybody needs some Keck in their lives. And he's got some electric type attacks. Which, uh, is not implied by the name Caracold, if you want me to be quite honest. But that's okay. See, there's the powder snow. What the fuck is this thing? Electric and ice? That is original. I never heard of that before. Those are two really strong uh, offensive types. Ooh. Detected a good amount of damage. Recover a little bit of health with that Orin Berry. I guess I'm gonna try and feign attack again. Bite is not gonna do anything because it's dark type. And Keck is also dark type. So there we go. 
Knock that shit out the box. Baboosh! How you liking that, suckle? What else you got for me? Three more Pokemons, jeez. Cloudcat. And you got lots of kitty Pokemon. I see what you're doing there. Oh, and there's the fake out. Damn, this AI is, uh, it knows what it's doing, to say the very least. Let me try sending Gremlin and see if this thing is a uh, fairy type or something. And it uses fake out again. Okay, I take back everything I ever said about the AI. <laughs> it just keeps using fake out. What the fuck is happening? Hopefully it's got fairy typing. No, it doesn't. But uh, acid seems to do a good amount of damage, so I guess we'll just keep pushing on with that. Knock this thing out. Oh, all these berries, dude. Jesus. And it's a citrus berry. He's got the good berries. Where you get that good berry, son? I only found some shitty berries that'll, like, reduce your, your damage from this type or that type that's super effective. Really, the only, uh, damage reduction berry I can recall myself using is a Wacken berry on Gyarados, which reduces electric-type damage. So Gyarados can, like, live an electric-type hit, get that Dragon Dance up, start sweeping with Mox Moxie Boost. Ooh, that's so good. May May came out with a fake attack as well, but it missed, thank god. So I'm just gonna keep uh, shooting acid in this thing's face, because because that's how it goes. It already looks like it took some acid in the face. Look, its eyes all fucked up. That's gross. Ew! Ew, dude! Can't you afford, like, some plastic surgery or something? Is that not covered under health insurance? No, it's not. No, indeed. Oh, we defeated the furry. Meow! What? 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 You gonna play with my balls? Not right now. Not right now, I'm very busy. Can't you see? I should go heal up. But I said I wanted to do this whole bridge, so let's keep going. That guy next to me who thinks he's a caracold really creeps me out. <laughs> that's that's the, the furry, right? You know, just let him have his, his preference. Unless he's trying to push it on you. And then I'd say, hey, tell that dude to back the fuck up. Dang, all these Pokemon are level, like, 19 and shit. This is scary. I'm gonna try rolling out. Magnitude 9 does nothing. I don't understand. Apparently they don't understand either. So, a little bit of damage. Uh-oh. But he's got that, uh, cute charm. Conchilla. Oh, I get it, because it's like a conch and also a chinchilla. Together. At last. Here's some more rollout. Roll out. It's not really doing as much as I had hoped. He's got rapid spin. And at least the rough skin did some damage there. That's pretty nice. But I got immobilized by love. Oh, every time. I'm just so in love. Uh, let's go into Kim. They share a gender, so none of that uh, sweet charm infatuation bullshit should happen. And Conchilla is just setting up spikes. It's like we're fucking high level battling right now. Oh, uh, Fury, Fury Cutter. I was gonna say Fury Swipes. No, that's that's not what it is. Fury Cutter! And I guess this thing is like normal type. I thought it could have been a grass type. Could be water type too. I'm really not too sure. Those magnitudes are freaking me out though. I guess I'm just going to uh, leave Kim in here. Oh, Rapid Spin. She can live through that. But I think I am slower than this thing. Oh yeah, there's the Razor Shell. It is definitely a uh, water type. Let's get Douglas in there. Douglas wants some of that water type action. Blue, blue. And he's hurt by spikes. Damn. Those spikes are going to be uh, more of a pain in the ass than I thought. I realize in competitive battling that entry hazards are quite a thing. But I rarely ever see it in the main game. Huh, Vine Whip didn't do super effective damage. So maybe it is just a normal type that knows some water type moves. I don't know. I simply uh, am at a loss for what to think at the moment. Oh well. We're, we're gonna get through this shit. He's got a Crockling? Crockling? Something like that. Let's see what a Bullet Seed's gonna do. Oh, it's definitely Grass type. Shoot Razor Leafs at me. That ain't good. And it is, uh, level 19. Huh, but my Bullet Seed is doing fine damage against it. I'm not sure what's happening with these fucking Pokemon. Somebody enlighten me. 
I really would like to just look it up and then I'd know, but um, it's kind of kind of cheating, isn't it? And I got some Oran Berry too. Ha ha ha. Mud Slap? That's, that's not good. One of my favorite moves. I love playing with the fucking accuracy. Especially if you're fighting somebody that's like upwards in level, you know what I mean? That's how we won most of the fights that we were having trouble with. Just fucking accuracy drop moves. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Here comes another Razor Leaf. Hopefully I can live it. Come on. Oh, buddy. I guess uh, same types are not not very effective. They're, they have normal type effectiveness against each other or something. Because Douglas was hit by Razor Leaf with just normal damage. Really interesting. There are some changes in this game that I don't quite understand yet. And uh, Fa Fairy Rock is his Pokemon. His final Pokemon. I should probably use a Super Potion, but I paid a lot of money for it, so I don't really want to. I'm gonna go into Gremlin just because it is Poison type, and I think that it's going to uh, fuck up this Fairy type, which I assume it is a Fairy type. I could be extremely wrong! Oh my god. It's so buff. It just Ancient powered the shit out of me. Can I at least try and get some acid in its face? Is it super effective? Nope. <laughs> not very effective. That's not good. And that thing is using rock polish to up its speed. So I am going to fall back on a super potion. And, uh... Yeah, I guess... I guess I'll give it to Douglas, even though he's paralyzed already. It's kind of whatever. All my Pokémon are almost dead anyways. I will need to go back to the Pokémon Center after this. Now that ancient power fucked me up. Alright. That's alright. Douglas can bring this one home. I'm not gonna lose again. We lost to Kexandra earlier. Could, how could this happen? I thought I was a Pokemon Master. Well, I'm a Pokemon Master in Kanto, but not in Fochun. Fochun is extremely mysterious to me, and at least I am resisting this ancient power now. Although I really fear when he gets the stat boost. And I keep getting fucking paralyzed. This is terrible. I'm gonna have to use another super potion. Oh god, damn it, piss! Self-destruct, okay, whatever. Fine, do it. That, that, that's just fine with me. I guess he ran out of ancient powers. It's a really low PP move. Whoa! Yeah. Nobody got the XP from your fucking stupid Pokemon. I hate you! Terrible, terrible, terrible. We didn't get all the way up the bridge. I'm so sad now. And I'm even more sad that we missed out on the EXP for that fucking level 20 Pokemon. It could have been awesome. It could have been fantastic. But, uh, yeah. Things just didn't work out that way. As it goes sometimes. Alright, so we got a bunch of level 15s. A level 16 and a level 17. We're gonna keep it going. Try and uh, push through the last battle of this bridge. You wanna be the best? You wanna be the champ? Well, then grab your nuts and be it! Don't let your memes be memes! <laughs> That's what they told me. Oh, dude. Lifter Greg. Fucking yoked. Yoked up, dude. He's got an Armando. Mmm. I'm gonna peck that. I'm gonna peck that. And Karate Chop is fucking scary because criticals. He did take a little bit of damage from Rough Skin, but uh, yeah. That critical is harsh. Super harsh. And Pecker goes down, like, immediately. Jesus. That is rough. Rough Skin, get it? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go into Gremlin. Hopefully we can just soak up a little bit of the EXP. I don't think that thing knows like self-destruct or nothing like that. Now he's got the focus energy going, which means he's definitely going to be critting with that karate chop. Because it already has a high crit. Luckily it goes down to acid. That is a mean ass Pokemon. I should have caught one. I should be using that. I don't know why I'm not. Why did I get so attached to these other pokes? Gremlin's trying to learn glare, which could be cool. I love a bit of paralysis. Metronome, I don't I don't see myself using it anymore. I'm sorry. I was really having fun with it, but then uh I started losing. 
and I decided now I need to win. <laughs> Charagon. Okay, I assume it's a uh, poison type. Fire and poison? Using flame charge to up his speed, but guess what? You're gonna get glared, son. Right in your fucking face. Glare. Look at me in my eyes, dude. And he's like, I'm so scared, I don't wanna move. Daddy, help. Oh god, speed boost raised its speed. What the fuck? It's going faster and faster. How can we stop it? Smog's not gonna do anything. So let's try acid. It doesn't affect that thing, which means it must be steel type. Oh boy. So we're gonna have to bring in Decker, I guess. I guess. I don't know. What else do I have that can take out a steel type? Not a lot! It's a steel fire type? Is this like a uh, uh, pre evolution of that gun dragon thing? It, was that gun dragon thing called gun dragon? Gun dragon? Something like that. Well, he's faster than me, even with the paralysis now. Continuing with this flame charge, shooting smoke screens in my face. All I need is a good magnitude. Magnitude 5? Uh, not really that good, but uh, I think it's four times super effective damage, so maybe it'll carry us through. I don't really know. I'm just trying to make some shit happen. You know how it goes. He keeps flame charging. Maybe that's his only attacking move. Which, if it is, that's fortunate. We got a magnitude 8, and it fucking missed, which is super unfortunate. But oh well. We're learning stuff. We're doing different things every single day out here. Here's a magnitude 6. Put this in your pipe and smoke it. And down he goes. Good, 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 good. We're not gonna die today. Not today. Oh wait, he has one more Pokemon. It's a Reptike. And it's level 21. Holy shit, I need to stop and level up my dudes after this episode. We're gonna get fucked up. Fucked up super hard, dude. Alright, I guess I'll continue with magnitudes. It looks like it has a water typing, but uh... Yeah, it probably does. Thunder Punch. Yacha! Wow. My defense made me just live it, but um... Yeah. I just lived it. I'm gonna send in Douglas, see if we can test out this water typing, and I get fire punched in the fucking head. Wow. That's terrible. I don't even know what to do right now. Uh, just, just try something, Douglas. Sand attack. There we go. Sand attack. Play with that accuracy. That's what we're gonna do. But I will eat an arm thrust to the face, go right down. Holy fuck. This is not going well. He knows Fire Punch, which is gonna fuck up Keck. Oh man, let's get Kim in there. Hopefully this is gonna work. Can I get a little bit of Singy? Singy Sing? Oh, god damn, I forgot about the arm thrust. Oh, oh god. Oh fuck. Piss and balls. Everything shit. Oh my. Well, how about Gremlin? I know Gremlin can resist the arm thrusts, at least, at the very least. Maybe we could get Smog going and get poison on it, and then I can just try and outlast it. I could also put the paralysis, and maybe that would work, but, um, yeah. This is gonna be a, a tight fight. Quite tight, nighty night. Alright, I'm going for Glare. It's more guaranteed than that Smog shit. He's getting three arm thrusts in a row now. That's not okay. It's not okay. Look at me in my face. It's not okay. Nah, I'm scared now. Good. You should be. Because I'm made of poison stuff. Now I uh, spray some acid all over you. Oh, that's doing pretty good damage. I guess his special defense is low. His defense defense is high. Well... We just gotta get through this thing. Don't die to Ice Punch, please, please, please. <gasps> he died to Ice Punch, it was a critical, god damn it. Well, Decker and Keck. The two, uh, the two boys that I got left. Dude, this thing is fucking my day up. Alright, so I got, uh, Fain Attack or Bug Bite. I'll go Bug Bite. We'll see what it do. Not very effective. God damn it. And this thing's paralyzed, I know it's gonna try and go for the Fire Punch. 
Maybe I should try Astonish and like para flinch this shit to death. Is that gonna work? There's the flinch. I take it. I take it. I don't give a shit. Oh, he's got a citrus berry. Of course he does. Of fucking course he does. Just keep up with the Astonish. I will para flinch this shit to death. I don't even give a shit. Oh, who knew that this last fight was gonna be just so uphill? Here comes the arm thrust. Oh my god. OMG! Please stop! Oh god, he's gonna get five in a row, isn't he? Shit! He fucked Keck up. Is Astonish the best thing to use? Should I be using Faint Attack? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The, the fight is lost. The day is lost! Oh, unless, unless fucking Decker can pull it out of his ass. I don't know how that's gonna happen. Magnitude, Rock Throw, Mud Slap, Mud Slap. Let's play more accuracy games. Fuck this thing. Please be paralyzed. Oh, he got Thunder Punch. Done. It's over. I didn't want to waste any more Super Potions. Ah, god damn. 272 paid out. That is the third loss. I might as well quit. Fucking Pokemon Clover has just plundered my butthole. Made me think twice about everything I ever knew. Oh, what a way to end the episode. Well, we'll try it again in the next one, friends. I'll uh, level up just a bit more, up to about 20, I do hope. Um, if it's possible. I mean, most of the Pokemon around are really, really low level, so... I'll have to do quite a bit of grinding, but I hope that you join us for the next time. This has been Pokemon Clover, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We're going to go all the way to the Elite Four, even if I lose 500 times, but uh, hopefully it won't, it won't be more than three. Although, I think I said that back at, at two. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Anyways. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.